Um, there are a lot of people who have made resolutions, eat better, lose weight, and processed foods, I know you have been no, no, no about processed foods, and why is that going to be a hindrance for people who want to keep those resolutions? Yeah, you, you know, the problem with processed food is, is that they're created to, to be cheap, they're created to be on the shelf for a long time, and, and none of those things are consistent with health. So that's really the big problem. It, it kind of takes away the work of digestion, you know, as opposed to eating plants, eating fruits and vegetables. Your body has to work for that energy. Processed foods, your body just doesn't work that hard for the energy. And that means you are storing some fat then? Well, you're gonna get, you're gonna, your, your glucose, your sugar level is going to raise higher, then insulin is going to go up higher. You know, that's walking that path toward diabetes. It's also starting to store all that extra sugar as fat. So, so that is a big issue. Um, and, and rather than kind of broadly say processed foods, I mean, you know, a lot of things in packages. But if, if people just focus on high fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated oil uh, to start the year, those two ingredients, if they look through their kitchens and, and get rid of that stuff, that's a great start. High fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated oils. Hydrogenated oils, right. Those are the okay. trans fats. And then you see all the packages that say no trans fats, mm -hmm. but that just means there's less than 0.5 grams per serving. So you've got to really dive into the ingredients label. And if you see hydrogenated oil, steer clear. Because that's something that's made in a lab. That's not found in nature, right? It's, it was a created fat to give to give a, a good mouth feel and to, and to give fat sort of a semi-solid consistency. I mean, initially when it came out, that was kind of the low fat craze, and it was it was felt to be a good thing. Um, except we found out that it's very inflammatory. Actually, increases the risk of heart attack and stroke. So, ah. uh, you know, I think California actually just pulled it out of their restaurants. We should just start pulling it out of our kitchens. Okay.